Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to take a look at benchmarks comparing the most sought after laptop GPUs of last generation and the latest generation. I'm talking about the RTX 4050 versus the RTX 3060 versus the RTX 4060 versus the RTX 3070 versus the RTX 4070. Before we proceed, if you are new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. Also, join the Telegram community to engage in tech discussions and get alerted on the best tech deals the earliest. Link in the description. Alright, let's get right into the video. Okay, these benchmarks have been compiled from Roadbook Check, which has the largest database for gaming laptop benchmark numbers. You can compare GPUs and look at the actual laptop that the FPS number was collected from and you can also check out Roadbook Check's review of that laptop. I highly recommend checking out Roadbook Check, at least until I start getting reviewed. It. Anyways, joke aside, a little bit about the actual configurations in the comparison. The 4060 laptop in this comparison is not a top of the line laptop. It's an 80 watt plus 25 watt 4060 and it mostly hovers around 85 90 watts. And it also has a relatively weaker i7 13620H, while the rest of the laptops are pretty much all top tier laptops with fully powered components. Also, it's important to know the power scaling characteristics of these GPUs. The 4050 does not gain any performance beyond 95 watts, while the 4060 and 4070 don't gain any performance beyond 110 watts. On the other side, the 4000 series doesn't lose much performance at lower power limits. It's the opposite with the RTX 3000 series, which loses much more performance at lower power limits. So keep that in mind. All right, so here are the benchmarks and I'll catch you right at the end. Okay, so overall the fully powered RTX 4050 is about 2.3% slower than a fully powered RTX 3060. Then a 105 watt 4060 is about 15.4% faster than a fully powered 3060. The 105 watt 4060 is also almost equal to a fully powered RTX 3070. And finally, the fully powered 4070 is about 16.2% faster than a fully powered 3070. These numbers are once again without any DLSS or ray tracing or frame generation. So overall, the buying decision will depend upon the actual cost of the laptop and also how much you value things like DLSS 3, which honestly, I do feel has great potential in the future. Alright guys, that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Comment down your thoughts and make sure to hit like and subscribe. Also, join the Telegram community, link in the description. Alright guys, take care and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.